What's happening everybody, John the Realtor here. Welcome to my channel where we cover all things real estate and we don't leave anything out and it is all raw information. Today we're gonna to talk about the three things you need to do when you get started after you get your real estate license and you join a company. So stay tuned, cause we're gonna do that right now. All right guys, so here we go. So today we're gonna to talk about the three things, like I said, that you need to do once you get your real estate license and you join a real estate company, okay? Uh, first and foremost, um, I thank you guys for all for tuning in. Thank you to all my awesome subscribers. I know I don't have that many subscribers in the YouTube world, but I think it's fantastic that you guys are actually tuning in, watching the videos. So thank you so much. Be sure to smash that like button for more content and to get this information out. So you've got your real estate license and you joined a real estate company. Hopefully Keller Williams, if you don't know about our company and the benefits of joining, check out the um, video right here and uh, that'll give you more information. Uh, also, there's going to be a commission video uh, that I've done. I've done two of them. I'll give you the most updated one right there so you can go check that out as well. All right. So, uh, like I said, you got your real estate license. You joined uh, a company. So what do, what do you do now? Well, the first thing you need to do is become a member of a board of realtors, no matter where you are, whether you're in California, Florida, doesn't matter. You're going to have a board of realtors for your area. Um, some uh, board of realtors uh, are going to be private members, private boards. For example, Los Angeles has specific private boards. Uh, uh, the uh, CRMLS, which is the California Regional, is run by various uh, companies and various boards like East Valley, Inland Valley, um, Citrus Valley. Those are just different boards based on specific areas that you can join. So. There's a couple things you need to know about that is you have a specific cost. So you have a yearly cost to stay a member of that board and you have quarterly costs to be a member of their multiple listing service, which is their MLS, which is where all your listings are going to be and uh, where you're going to be able to study the market. So uh, your cost can range anywhere between uh, five to seven hundred dollars, depending on the board. Uh, that is not a quote by any means. So call your local board um, and make sure that you uh, get a quote uh, on the price, the accurate price of what it would cost to join that, uh, that board. So once you join, the board has benefits like classes, they have uh, membership details, they have member tools, they have all kinds of benefits for you once you join the board. Another benefit to that is uh, having your um, National Association of Realtors members membership as well. Um, you get that member number once you sign up and that allows you to um, access tools like uh, your, your forms and all other stuff. Plus you get um, you know, legal advice and all kinds of stuff through the National Association of Realtors. So that's pretty cool as well. You can't practice real estate, can't fill out a contract unless you are a board member. Uh, so that is your number one thing to do when you become an agent. The second thing to do is study your MLS. So you've signed up for the board, you've paid for it, you have the multiple listing service, and now you have um, your own way to find properties and your own way to keep up on the market. My biggest advice that I give all new agents is study, study, study it day and night. Why? because that will give you the best knowledge on what is happening in your market. You can study specific neighborhoods. You can study the entire valley of where you are. Um, you can study, uh, heck, the entire state of California if you wanted to. And here's why. You get a buyer and the buyer says they want a specific neighborhood or they want a specific type of house. If you study the MLS every single day and you know what's out there, you're immediately gonna know what to point that client to as a buyer. Now, this also helps you on the seller side as well. If you have a seller and they're looking to list their property and they ask you why they should hire you, one of the reasons you should tell them is because you study the MLS every single day and you know exactly what the average sales price is in their neighborhood. That is very, very important, okay? Now, the, the biggest thing with that is number three, that brings me to get yourself a mentor. Yes, 
get yourself a mentor. At Keller Williams, we have a mentorship program where you pick somebody that will that you connect with, that you match with, and that can really help you through the process um, out of your first three transactions. I'm a mentor myself. They, um, the, we get 10% for each transaction, but the thing is, is that we mentor you through growing through that transaction and learning the process of the transaction, the marketing piece, um, how to be successful, all of that, and we coach you through that. Well worth the money, it's well worth getting it done because you don't want to guide yourself alone and feel like you're in a bubble. You want to be involved with somebody who can mentor you through the process, help you through uh, talking to your buyers, talking to your sellers, and all of that involved. So you want to be able to have that. The other thing is surround yourself, this is your bonus now, surround yourself around successful people. Hang out with a team that uh, you know is a high performing team. If you are, let's say in LA somewhere and you want to be a high end agent, surround yourself around agents that are high end producing agents, those that are successful. And you know what? Be humble, humble yourself and make sure you're there to help them with anything they need. Heck, you know what? Hey, I'm going to get myself a coffee. Do you want me to buy you a coffee? Great. Let me buy you a coffee because you're going to earn their trust. So you have to do the things that are necessary to earn their trust. Now, I'm not telling you to do anything that is kind of weird, but you know, hang out with them, um, you know, uh, sit in their office and just say, hey, do you mind if I just sit in your office and just absorb what you do? I have people that come in here and hang out in my office all the time. They ask me what this is, but you know, it's just my Lego bat wing. Um, that's just for decor. But nevertheless, you know, hang out in someone's office, see what they do on a day to day basis. And that is your bonus. Surround yourself around people that are successful and um, won't uh, you know affect you in a negative way, won't give you any bad habits, won't do anything that uh, will steer you away from being successful. Uh, and with that, that is your three points plus your bonus on what to do when you become a real estate agent. Join a board of realtors membership. Study the MLS daily, do it daily, every day, all day. If you don't have clients, do it daily, okay? Get yourself a mentor, someone who can help you with the process of becoming a realtor and, get, and going through transactions and being successful. Your bonus, surround yourself around successful people. Get those nuggets, the, that information that you can retain that will help you become successful, okay? And don't forget, like I say in my previous mem uh, videos, Grow your database, go through your phone, grow that database. That is the most important thing you can do to gain clients. Talk to people that all the time around you, do all of that. Walk your neighborhood um, if you're walking with your family. You know, if you see people, um, talk to them, be open, let them know you're in real estate, okay? Be successful, be confident, follow those tips, and that will help you get started. You wanna know more, leave a comment in the section. Let me know what you wanna talk about next. Also, please smash that like button, like I said, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. I hope to get more, and I hope to give out as much positive information as I can. Have a great day.